Hey, and welcome to another episode of Derpina Mode. Today, I'm going to talk about my favorite red lipsticks. Now, if you have seen more than one video of mine, or you've seen videos on my other channel, Books and Quills, you will know that I like to wear a lot of red lipstick. I didn't always do this, I've been doing this for the last couple of years, but it's just my go-to. I don't know how I really found out that it looked nice. I think maybe I just put it on once and I was like, this is the look, I like this. But over the years, I've sort of managed to find my favorite red lipsticks and then when I turned cruelty free I obviously had to refine some but some of the old ones still worked as well. I currently have five favorites plus a red lip liner that I want to share with you and hopefully this will help you out if you're looking for a red lipstick. Now I actually don't know any of the information behind like blue undertones and other undertones. I just put on a red lipstick and if I like it, I like it. Also, people always ask me what's the secret behind being able to wear red lipstick and not have it smudged. My secret is threefold. One, wear a lip liner underneath, like the whole lip, not just the outside. Number two, wear matte lipsticks. Matte lipsticks will stay. And number three is dab it off as much as you can and maybe even do the trick where you put a tissue over the lipstick and then put some powder on a brush and dab over that. That always works miracles as well. And I think it is just the trick of finding the right lipstick. You will be able to wear red lipstick if you find the right one. All right, let's get started. I'll put in some swatches. For now, I'm gonna start with a lipstick that I'm wearing at the moment, which is probably, I wanna say, my ultimate favorite. Number one is Red Carpet Red by Charlotte Tilbury. This is quite a recent one. I've had this for about, I wanna say, maybe over a year now. This is so much the right color for me that one Christmas, both Lex and Emily bought me this color. They went to Charlotte Tilbury, they saw this and they thought, this is Sana's color. And so I had to. It is really, really matte. You do need to dab it off quite well beforehand. And I like to use lip liner and a little bit of concealer around the corners of my mouth just because this one bleeds like a tiny bit. I think most red lipsticks will a little bit, so you need to sort of prep yourself for that. I think this would also work without lip liner. Charlotte Tilbury is obviously a little bit more on the pricey side, but if you're gonna find like one amazing lipstick that you'll wear for the whole year, then this is a good investment. The next up I have two Lush lipsticks. Now, Lush lipsticks are still quite new. You can't buy them everywhere. I think you can buy them on the website, but I'll have a look and see if I can put links in the description. Remember how before they used to have the little jars and it was more of a like lip gloss, like a more liquidy one? Now they have proper lipsticks. You can buy them at the Lush Oxford Street store as well. And this is my favorite. It is called Decisive and it is a slightly more blue red, I would say. It's a little bit darker and it has a tiny bit of a sheen to it, but not, not that much. This one does also require a lip liner. It does bleed a little bit, but this will stay on like through dinner. It will come off on your food quite a lot, but then plenty of it will stay on. I have some issues with the packaging where like it doesn't quite go back in, but I think that the fact that the tube is quite thin does make it really easy to apply. And this is also like a really special, like bold color. And I like that it's called Decisive. The other Lush one I have is called Just. It looks a lot more brown when you take it out. Also, this packaging is definitely working a little bit better. This, again, has like a little bit of shimmer in it, not too crazy. And it is a bit more shiny, so this one requires lots of dabbing. But I think if you're looking for a slightly browner red, I can't go that brown because it makes me look really severe and it's like... I can't go too far off the main color, but that was an experiment. I've had it quite recently and, and I like it. I would recommend if you're looking for something a little bit more special. And then finally, I have two from my favorite Dutch brand, which is Hema, H-E-M-A. There are some shops in London as well. There's one in Victoria Station, which is very convenient. And these are by far the cheapest. So the Lush ones are kind of in the mid range. And these ones, I think they're four pounds maybe? The first one is number five and it is quite a bright red. It's probably the, the brightest sort of like slightly more orangey tone one that I have. I used to love Lady Danger by MAC but this is my slightly redder which I think was really nice equivalent of it. Uh, again really thin application. Oh I think I'm almost out. Really good. This is the first one I tried. It was a recommendation by one of my favorite Dutch YouTubers, Vera Camilla, and she wears red lipstick all the time. And she recommended this, and it was a great purchase. I've bought this for so many people. And the other one is number six, six, and it is a slightly deeper red. So if I'm going for a vintagey look, then this is the one to go with. Both of these 
A lot of people say that they feel like they're quite dry, but for me that's a good thing. These are super matte. They don't require any lip liner and they will stay on through dinner. They will stay on through breakfast, lunch and dinner. And if I'm going somewhere where I know I won't be able to check my face much, then these are the ones I go with. They're just like a really solid option. Finally, the lip liner I use for all of them is this Gosh lip liner. It's probably called Simply Red. I spilled nail polish on it so I can't quite tell. It's just a lip liner. It's probably four or five pounds and I like that it's quite light so it doesn't make any of the other lipsticks darker and it brightens up everything and it's like nice and creamy. It's not too dry. Would recommend. All right, so those are my favorite red lipsticks. I'm always open to recommendations because I'd like to try some more from different brands, but these are my favorite ones that I go between. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that if you love wearing red lipstick as much as I do, you got some good recommendations from this. If you've never done it before, go out, buy yourself a red lipstick, and go for it. All right, that is all for me. Derpina mode, deactivate. Woo!